Hi, I'm Ray Young, uh, and I'm continuing with my series of talks about the brief history of Thessaloniki. I'm an emeritus professor from the University of Wisconsin, and I spent a sabbatical year at the Aristotelian University in Thessaloniki. Uh, and I'm, today I'm going to be talking about the Byzantine era and the Ottoman occupation of Thessaloniki. Uh, this period lasted for about a thousand years, from 379 to 1423, and as a result of this period, there were uh, many of the Orthodox churches uh, were built with the Byzantine architecture. Now, the creation of the Byzantine Empire was, was with the splitting of the Roman Empire into the eastern and west, western portions, the eastern portion becoming the Byzantine Empire. And it's, uh, I should mention its borders varied considerably over a thousand years due to battles and incursions. And you can see the lower slide, which is a later period where the, uh, the Turkish sultanates were incurred, incurring into the Byzantine Empire. But, but it's important to note that these borders did vary considerably. Uh, Constantine became the uh, emperor of the Byzantine Empire, and he renamed uh, Byzantium to Constantinople. And he oriented it towards the Greek rather than the Latin culture. And it was characterized by Orthodox Christianity, which he converted to Christianity. And here's some of the beautiful churches that exist in Thessaloniki today as a result of this period. Uh, the Hagia Sophia uh, is the Church of the Holy Wisdom. It's, it's on the same structure as the Hagia Sophia in uh, Istanbul, although it's smaller. And it is one of the more uh, significant churches in Thessaloniki. On the lower slide is the Agios Demetrios, the uh, Church of St. Demetrios, the patron saint of Thessaloniki. Uh, Demetrios was tortured by the Romans and he died at this site uh, in Thessaloniki. This church was restored after the, the Great Fire of 1917. There are several other churches, the Pangia Chalkion, a virgin of the Copperworks Church, and also St. Catherine's, which is located in the upper city or the Anapoli section of Thessaloniki. Okay, uh, we'll now move on to the Ottoman period, which was a, a, year, a period of 500 years. Uh, it had a significant impact on the city from 1430 to 1912. Uh, shown in the upper, upper section of the slide was actually an engraving. It was an early, uh, one of the earliest depictions of Thessaloniki in a photograph in the 1860s. And you can see the many minarets present for the mosques in Thessaloniki, the walled waterfront still there, and then on the top of the slide, the Seven Tower Acropolis uh, sitting up on the top of the city. On the lower slide, you see that this, the walls were removed uh, around 1870 and, and showing the uh, White Tower, which still exists there today, which was put in in the 15th century by the Ottoman Turks. They opened it up the city so it could expand uh, on the east and west, but half of the walls still remain. Uh, that White Tower was a harbor defense, but it became a, a brutal prison at one point, and now it's a museum. Okay, this is the Hagia Sophia, which I showed earlier uh, in modern times. And uh, to, the, to the right, on the right side of the slide, you can see that the uh, Turks converted it into a, a mosque, and you can see the large minaret, which was subsequently removed. Okay, this, you come, we're coming to the very interesting demographics of Thessaloniki. It's home to the three great monotheistic religions in the world, Orthodox Christianity, uh, Shavardic Judaism, and Turkish Muslims. And you can see in 1490, the Greeks were the predominant population in the city of 6,000. Uh, the, Turk, the Turks were a considerable portion of the population of 4,000. But you'll notice a very small Jewish population. These were um, either Ashkenazi or actually they were mostly Roman, Romanio, the original uh, Jews that came to, the, uh, to Europe and this part of the world before the, the fall of the temple. So uh, these were more money out Jews. And you see that the population was only about 12,000. Now let's jump ahead 400 years. Population is 10 times more, 120,000. But one thing that's very notable is that the population in now is predominated by uh, Jewish people. And uh, there's roughly equivalent number of both Muslims and Greeks. But the Jewish population is, is, is the predominant population. And this is what we're going to talk about 
in our next uh, presentation of the, Shephard the coming of the Sephardic Jews to Thessaloniki. Okay, thank you very much.